Welcome back to Gator Sniper playthrough of Tales of Arise, where last we left off, we were fucking just on a spaceship for like the entire episode. It was a long, I, I think that's an episode I didn't even edit. I think I literally just put it in and it was like cut off a little bit of the beginning, cut off a little bit of the end, and boom, there you go. A full episode of nothing but cutscenes. Uh, and that resulted in us being here. We made it to Rena. Now we can fucking figure out uh, what the fuck happened. We just got here. It's already a shithole. This place makes fucking Mahog Sar look like not Detroit. It makes it look like uh, something a little less fucked up, like uh, Burb Burbank. <laughs> I don't know actually if, if Burbank is above Detroit on the scale of like stereotypical jokes about like those cities being a fucking mess, but here we are. A city torn asunder. What can y'all tell me about Space Detroit? What could be mm -hmm. so important? It's worth destroying. I swear it's that like Rena needs the energy. Rena's it's dying. Just... Rena has no astral energy. They use it all for their cool fucking technology. Probably walks. for those fucking um Someone's spaceships that have question, their cool fucking like uh from weird engines. They must be siphoning yeah. off astral energy from yeah. Dana and then sending it to Rena. No one else uh, someone might I actually. You know every time I've said like why don't they assume this type of thing? They usually then like wind up being like, maybe this is why they're doing it. Uh, but I don't know. I don't think they're gonna say like, wait, maybe they're sending it to Rena for like, I don't know, a good reason. I don't know. I don't know if we can even call it a good reason. Might be where we find some answers, right? Exactly. What are we waiting for? I'm waiting for you guys to finish talking because I'm I, every two steps I take, you decide to have a full blown conversation that like stops you all from moving. We can walk and talk. Oh my god, an afterthought. Yeah, just like the idea of progressing the plot. Do you think when Lenicus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? I don't know. There's a bunch of upside down cities and shit. None of this happened by coincidence, right? They must have designed it to yeah. transform. Like yeah, this. that is true. Why would you then, put people living on something? People going to live here, yeah. You'd think they would have taken that into Unless they're just real assholes. Chaos. So you see that backs up the idea. So. Oh wait, hold on. What are they? As far as we were concerned, oh. Lenigus was our home. Nothing so, like, that just builds the no idea of, like, yeah, they uh, people, uh, like, abandoned Rena to live here because, like, this was the only place they could live. But if so... To what exactly? I that Sorry. is entirely it. I that bet Rena is like weird, it huh? had to be evacuated, but no one here knows. That's so weird. Then again, maybe it ties into how nobody knows about the Red Lady. Everyone's just like, what Red Lady? I don't know. Maybe their their memories have been like sealed. It's weird. Maybe this whole city has like a bunch of uh like Dan Genrampa the anime style like hypnotism things going on. That fucking, that anime was weird. At first I was excited because like, oh, it'll take place in the games that I haven't seen, which at that time was Danganronpa 2, but now Jason and I have fucking played all of that. Um, but yeah, like, then the anime started going off on like weird tangent where like, you know, the second season was cool. It got to go back into talking about the, uh, the class that I liked the most. And then season three is like, well, it doesn't have anything to do with the third game. So I literally know nothing about the third game. Oh, damn. That sucks. This is... Really? Hmm. Maybe you are racist. This is God's punishment on you. Would that I have. You have such a cool old person voice. His, His highness. highness. Must have Who's the it king? There's a king. To know. Yeah, I swear to God, if it's Volron. We have no choice but to grin and you bear it. Renans are so sorry. Now I'm turning but into the racist one. Do my eyes ones. deceive me? Could uh, I really be standing in the presence of his uh, lordship, Dohalim of Thank the God House we have one Paris. person here to back us up. I believed he was on Dana. Ah, uh, well, now I'm back. Fuck you, old man. Your eyes do not deceive uh -huh. you. It is I, one and the same. I like how Dohalim is one carrying duty, everything The details here. of which I cannot divulge. Ah. As your lordship yeah. wishes, first Lanagus mm -hmm. mutates beyond recognition. So is there now, a sovereign, like, from the previous crown the contest? They're making it sound indeed. like there is. I bet there's not. I bet it's a fucking computer. Some fucking hell shit Kars going on House here. has produced a great many mm. lords over the centuries. I Bro, crown contest is over. A lot of weird shit happened, man. We ended it like three years early, too. Your good wishes do me an honor. Yeah. Well, at least we haven't come across anybody super racist yet. I'm sure that's about to, you know, be proved wrong once I talk to these people. What is this? A map action. Let's go check that out. Might as well see if I can get some free items out of uh, out of anything. Let's see what down here. Oh, it's like the heal. Yeah, let's heal some people. It'll make them uh, like us more. 
to be like, you know what, you guys, actually, then again, it's Shion, uh, healing the person. Oh, in all my years, never have I seen such a potent healing art. Thank you so much for taking your time to help an old woman like, is that a damn it? Spits, ooh, a parfait recipe. What is that guy in the background doing? I, do people I not think arts, about, like, you know, when you set, like, an NPC somewhere that's doing, like, an action to kind of, like, you know, bring life to the scenery, that when it's something just like this, it's really goofy. I, he's trying to get the kids to come visit. Or come visit? What the fuck am I saying? To get over there so that they can fucking escape. But, I mean, it looks like they got things all taken care of. This guy's just an asshole. He's just staring like, uh, they're probably fine that guy's like come on i'm tired of waving my hands you stupid fucking kids you're just chilling you're kind of cute i like you i like your your hair oh you got the stupid bangs i don't know why so many characters have those fucking bangs in this game hey you what do you know what's going on here you have any good your insight oh, oh man thank god everybody knows who dol halim is <laughs> makes it so easy i descended to dana uh -huh. during the last crown oh. contest also Alas, when the contender I was backing wow, failed damn. to clinch the title, I returned. Good time to talk about this, I so guess. Many slaves. Were you upset about it? Because that'd actually be kind of cool. Sorry to you weren't like a dick. We're looking for a woman dressed all in red. No, not a I single Renan has that's ever that's seen that's such a woman. You must be crazy. You've been affected by the Danans. Hmm. No, I can't say. We I all wear right like white. It I really stands out. Stand out somewhat too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. cool. Good talk. Let's go. What about down on Dana during mm -hmm. the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging oh, around yeah. the board you were serving? What's with all these questions? Hmm. I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Okay, man. Do Don't need to, to get all anyway? fucking bitchy. Calm never down, mind. brother. Forget I asked. Yeah. Sorry to take up your time. Uh, then again, it is weird time to be asking these type of specific questions after, like, Lenigus has gone through the second biggest, uh, like, disaster it's faced. Good old Alfin can always claim the spot as number one. Hey, you have, like, a cutscene. What's your is everything issue? Okay? You look a little you lost. You look traumatized. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh. yes. I can't seem uh -huh. to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new uh -huh. route. I'm glad the Renans have the word umpteenth. The situation is a real pain, huh? Uh. I suppose hmm. the sovereign knows best. You guys are so hypnotized. I stay what here the too fuck? Long, huh? A lower caste can only linger hmm. around these parts for so long before I. I don't think anyone life. really cares about I that right now. It, but maybe I'll have to go Wait, that what way is after all. That way. You mean you know another uh -huh. way round? Yes. Tell us. I am a higher caste than you. You, you must expose. <laughs> Damn, she did such a sudden turn around. Uh -huh. Ah! Last I heard you were in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't yeah. it? If you know Almost as route, strange as the whole city fucking us. tearing itself apart. But, but of course, mm -hmm. please forgive me. There's a wall that's oh. ahead of here. With you know, probably could have found that just by wandering. It it's literally the right there. Quarters, mm -hmm. But I've no way of knowing for sure. We literally could have just it's gone over there ourselves. Why are there exposed circuit boards? Is that like go and part of the, the architecture? Is that another thing that like popped out of the ground as the city like reshaped itself? That's a question that really doesn't matter. It you serves really no purpose for me. me. A lord troubling himself for someone Just remember that whenever you vote for the next sovereign, that is, I'm the coolest. Is little consequence. Yeah. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Yeah, you know, oh, why, really yes, <laughs> drives a difference. In the, it furthers the idea that, that you know, there's a difference well, between the Rens and Dan's. I guess there is. What am I what fucking think? talking no about? No one has the faintest idea mm. what's happened to the city after all. Yeah. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. Yeah. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this uh, extent. Which would indicate that know. something's it's... suppressing the truth. That Lenicus is under I, some kind I of control. It's probably always that Given way. everything that's know. happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay Yeah, they just say, all. like, whatever, this yeah, is what the Lord or Sovereign said. said. Would stop listening to yeah. him. If that's true, I guess it's our lot in life trouble. to be eaten alive by wild animals. To the sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Have there why have we never talked? I didn't even realize like nothing happened. There was a current reason. sovereign. We to don't them, even have like a name to the person. The grand plan. That's so the weird. Plan. Who is the sovereign? Is it's got to be one from the last crown contest, I guess. Just who is this person ruling over Lenigus? Yeah, exactly. Tell us more. 
He rules from Rena, oh, from Rena, huh? Rena and Lenigus. That Without explains the it all. Anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Uh. Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's like a pretty big planet. I don't know. No I think Dana is smaller. It's like a moon, isn't it? I guess alone would be difficult enough. Yeah. The points you make are valid. Though I confess I'd never given it much See, thought everyone's before. like fucking Here, hypnotized. The sovereign's, the sovereign's probably a supercomputer that all the today. like other like the real Come sovereigns or the people sovereigns are like sacrificed. Of the of how Rena is. Yeah, exactly. Why are we getting interrupted? Oh, Shield, wait. No, have you ever been No. Uh -huh. Forgive me. Yeah, Have see? No one thought about it. They're all like hypnotized. Actually made a visit to so the whack. No. Yeah. I haven't. Neither Rena's have I. fucked. In which case. Rena's whole situation is imagine. way creepier than no, Dana. Like, Dana's not. situation is bad and, and really fucked up. No citizen of Everything about Rena's there? like a weird horror oh, movie. Like, existential so psychological shit. What I believe to be correct. Uh -huh. it's possible it just no creeps me out. Has ever laid eyes on the actual yeah. homeworld itself. No, no one, one fucking has any Venice. idea what the fuck Rena is like. But what about trade and communication? Yeah. There's got to be a flow. The Danans are just like, this is such an obvious thing. How have you never thought about this? On Lenigus single-handedly, mm. it could be a one-way street. Mm. But I thought you said that the sovereigns all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, I mean, sure. Can he really if he's rule a directly super over computer. Lenigus from so far away? I swear that's what gotta be it. What if happen to the city? The, the like sovereign's now? either a super computer or like, a, a, I guess, a god. <laughs> or maybe the sovereign is just some dude that's like really stressed out, running between a bunch of different monitors on Rena. Yeah. Nothing makes a goddamn bit of sense <laughs> until we get to the point where it all makes sense. Before becoming mm. ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Mm. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, I mean, it would has the, the Sovereign ever not been silent? silent? I don't think as you guys how even Volron know. Factors into all this. Yeah. At this point, I no longer know. Yeah, Volron's a weird one too. Three centuries ago, I became the, the Sovereign here on Lenigus. No. I yeah. just became, I was forced to. I don't think I've Me, ever realized that's Dan, how Danon was spelled. Years later, I thought the H was Volan, after the A, not before it. Crest. Oh, geez. That's not the I'm only thing we have in common. We both became sovereign without winning the crown yeah. contest. Do you think it's all a scam. was made sovereign for the same reason? I think Alfen was like the test run at a I sovereign. Can't say for sure. And then, like, as far like as that. every other sovereign has gone, there's probably one that is already predetermined. Because Voron, like, I, Voron seemed to, like, be sovereign from the get-go. So everyone else is just collecting astral energy to, like, feed into him or into Rena. This time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Mm. Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? I don't think together, Volron do even knew about the, the Red Woman. The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. Uh -huh. The same one that the Red Woman stole. Yeah, and then Volron the disappeared. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there... Yeah, that's probably why me. Volron kidnapped Shion. Questions, questions, and yet more I know! Questions. So many fucking questions! <laughs> remain unanswered. One Until day, we can we'll establish know. the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off limits mm. to everyone but the Sovereign, yeah, that seems as good a place as any to start. Yeah, we don't get wait. It is H after A, so that means that what? Okay, God. Okay, I thought I was like fucking going crazy. Had a Berenstein Bears moment or something. Okay, so there's this one type of the one time I noticed. <laughs> oh, that's wacky. I mean, I could have seen it like being spelt that way too. It still makes sense phonetically. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure, what, whatever. Okay, let's. Oh, well, I guess we're not getting that. Uh, Skit, my bad. Oh, uh, that's f honestly fair. Because uh -huh. they they really do ambush you with the skits do. like constantly. I mean, Technically, I could see it at a camp. Can we set up camp in the middle of town? But Dohalim was a lord, right? Only yeah. current acting lords have power. Uh -huh. Ren and society Jeez. is quite strict about such. How matters. contrived the your society is. Around. I doubt they'd be able to do much about the situation. Yeah. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to see Lenigus now. Balsef would be up. I don't know. I don't think Balsef would really care. Uh, Shifty Ganabel, that's his name. Adria and Volron. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know how any. Volron wouldn't give a shit. Honestly, I feel like none of them would give a shit. They are all power hungry. They'd just be like, all right, I can see a way to get how myself on top of, of the situation. Balsef would just fail the, uh, the first. Lords. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, why would we? I mean, to us Danans, they were just enemies we needed that's to true. overthrow. So There's much of this more. game is about just like doing things without like considering the factors behind it. That's one of the uh, in their own secret uh, plot points of the game. Lives. It gets you thinking. It yeah. feels strange to imagine the Lord's living Yeah, in like Balsef just being a normal guy. He was like a tax worker uh, before he became a Lord. He was like in the IRS sitting at a big desk like Mr. Incredible in the first one, the first Incredibles movie. Yeah. God, that's so, that's somehow he's sad to think about. about them. He's just well, upset about his fucking uh, lot in life. He's still somehow nobility, but like his parents are like, you gotta get a real job before you can become a Lord. He's like, oh, fine. And... For some reason, they did this to him when he was like 30. Every lord in their house They're just that spoiled. Supporters here on uh -huh. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware yeah, of the seriously. events Yeah, seriously. I'm surprised they don't have like cameras or something to watch over to to like us. how the fucking game goes on the planet. What? Oh, we got a side quest out of that? All right. Uh, sure. I mean, my current side quest is wanting me to go back to Elda Medincia for like training or something. So whatever. I have not done side quests at all. <laughs> I'm so bad. Their own kind too. I mean, yet, I wouldn't really call it oppressed. Don't only you Why have a caste system. That's that oppression. I it mean, but it's just you know, been. it helps no organize things. You have experience in that regard uh -huh. yourself, do you not? Yeah. Unquestioning acceptance of your own servitude. Yeah, Alpha yeah, from back in the right. day. I wonder if they'll make Even like a so, prequel game to this where it's just like the plot is just like Dana from back in the day. I know I said before like a prequel of like the fights that happened like when the Renans first but took I over. But I like what was like I I don't know. I'd want to see Not Dana like before everything and like the whole plot is just like focused on this stuff like happening in that time period the there's just so much about ancient dana that i'm really curious about for sure. i think it could work be it'd be kind of weird because you'd know that like the moon has people on it maybe they'd have like some little other. things happen where it's like oh yeah like they do kind of uh swoop Tell on me, in Dolan. and you like Does meet a couple of renans a oh but actually if they did a game with and just danans i guess they could still have the witches as like your you know, magic casters but what about town? healing the way they know. suddenly become putty in your hands that's called charisma you just I'm have none quite follow uh. i do it's called friendly intimidation oh look imposing damn. and speak in a deep booming voice and presto Jeez. you'll have people wrapped around that's why you talk like that i would never stoop to such scandalous tricks any yeah. feelings of intimidation are so yeah. in the eye of the beholder. Sara, jeez. So there is a knack to it. Oh How my god. Can anyone do it? No, not I'm you. I'm curious. Oh god. Now everyone's trying to learn how to be charismatic. Hmm, let's see. An obsession with Oh my the god, Kizara's like must. fucking Oh, and it helps yeah, to be old fashioned too. She's like Love giving backhanded compliments, I guess. I don't know. This isn't real. It just feels it's very passive man, aggressive. Yeah, what the fuck? Why are you suddenly so? They look up to you. That's all. I'm just helping. Why them is she like? It. It's hey, probably supposed to be like teasing or something, but it sounds way more like. What the hell? And what's with the <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I'm missing a lot of cool things happening right now. I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. Yeah. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. <laughs> we didn't even get to see Alfin and Law talking stupid. And on this planet of all places, too. What the fuck? Oh, oh, man. The side quest is in this vicinity. What am I at? I'm at 20 minutes. Don't I, I just let's talk to one of them. Hey, man. Whatever Lord's like. Is this gonna take a while? Is the other problem? Hmm? Hello. You wanna know which Lord I support? Why? Are you out canvassing for someone? I'm with his excellently Erlis or er, Erwolsey Tendildilis. You probably know better, Lord Balsef. No wonder. <laughs> I know a lot of people consider him to be a giant brute. Believe me, I realize he could be an aggressive man. What those people don't realize how much he looks after the members of his house. It's fair to say that House Tendildilis doesn't enjoy much esteem. Those of us who serve it will be the first yes. to admit that. But his excellency always stands up against any who would mean us harm. Of that we can be sure. This is kind of weird to hear. <laughs> his efforts in the crown contest are not only for his family, but to prove the standing of each and every member yeah. of his house. I owe so much to his excellency, I could never dream of serving any other lord. Wow, that's actually so 
curious to hear. Yeah. Okay, now I'm actually kind of I'm 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 curious. I want to hear more. A change in position can do much to alter one's perspective. Yeah. Even he might have had something he wanted to. Oh, but then he did turn out to be a dick afterwards. I guess I don't know. What are you? What about? I'm really curious about the lords now. You with Ganabout? <laughs> Lord Dolim, you've returned! I see you brought aids with you. Do you remember who I am? Surely you must. Not only do I support House Ilkaris, but more specifically his lordship personally. So much I've been trying to share my appreciation of his lordship to any who will listen. In fact, I was planning to publish my extensive writing on the subject through this very term that we're all to read. Since the lines appear to be cut due to the recent tumult, I've been unable to re-upload them. I know, since you're here, I'll just read them aloud. Ahem. <laughs> there exists the most handsome man. A man who radiates beauty, every word, every syllable was divine poetry. He hails from the ha famed house of Lucaris, and his name Lord Dohalim. Music is his passion- they, they're just staring at her like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, scores of- okay. Refined, majestic as posture, the mere thought brings me to ex- this is just fan fiction. Once he comes over in Rena shall bloom anew, ushering an era of great prosperity for grand civilization. He's just like, well, this is really uncomfortable. I shall forever be praying for his victory, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> oh, I'm getting the vapors. Mm -hmm. What do you think, my lord? I poured my whole heart now over to half your essence. I forgot to mention anything about his lord's uh, ship's love for collecting <laughs> things. I, I'm surprised she's so casual with, you know, the caste system and all being a thing. <laughs> yeah, let's hear what y'all have to say about that. I guess she intended to spread it throughout all of Lenin's Yeah, this fan fiction. The lines were down so she couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like she was praising them, too. Uh -huh. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. You, I we, shall refrain from commenting. Yeah. Was, <laughs> that was a weird one. Okay. Um, how about you? Who do you support? I want to hear who about whoever supports Almadria, because I bet it's going to be pure simpage. Hey, man. Hmm. Oh, what? Never to think someone will try to tear me away from House Valkyrus. Who the fuck is House Valkyrus? <laughs> What do you want? Don't tell me you work for Lord Dolheim or that dreadful Lord Almadria, do you? You don't? Well, don't scare me like that. To answer your question, I come from a family that has served House Valkyrus for generations. Indeed, I'm doing all I can to support Lord Ganabout behind the scenes so that he might emerge victorious. Many think him to be a cruel man, but I insist they're utterly mistaken. Though I won't deny he can be strict, he puts Rena's interests front and center like no one else. Why, he advocates that rather than stay confined to Lenigus, we should get on with colonizing Donna and expand our horizons. That way, we can become masters of both worlds and overturn our current minority status on Dana's surface. That's why he seeks to become our next sovereign. Tell me, is there a greater, more noble ambition than that? I think not. He is a pursuit of power for the advancement of all our kind and will make him truly exemplary lord. I cannot speak. There's, there's just so much dialogue I want to get through quickly. <laughs> I was like, I'm curious about this, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. Though I was unable to accompany him myself, my two sons have been blessed with the honor of joining him on the surface. As their father fills me with endless pride. Yeah, your kids are dead. What? <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. We, uh... We overthrew Ganabout the planet. So yeah. Yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Maybe they just have so a big personality switch whenever they land I'm on the planet. I don't know. Matter, I admit. Uh, However, yeah. in my mind, while all lords vie to become the next sovereign, uh, they're also meant to serve as guardians. So of all weird. Of I feel like it's like another part of like whatever hypnotism. I'm still backing the hypnotism being a thing. I feel like it's just. Like, it's ingrained into them to just do whatever's best for Rena, and it kind of, like, I don't know, falls under sometimes where it's, like, it, 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 it's, like, helping your particular area, but still a thing. This oh. area doesn't look as badly uh -huh. damaged as oh, the no, other it's pretty fucked up. Oh, come Indeed. on, let's hear about... The effects of Lenigus's uh -huh, transformation uh -huh, appear uh -huh. to be less... Do I really... I, I don't fucking have to listen to this shit. One. Let's just see what this person says. Oh, she is fucking me. mad. Kynar, that's gotta be Almadria. This area falls under the sole jurisdiction of House Kynaris. I must ask you to depart at once. Surely you don't claim to be ignorant of our famed house ruled over by esteemed Lord Almadria. If so, I urge you to listen well. In fact, I bid you listen carefully in your regardless. Have you ever noticed how in the history of Lenigus only a few women lords have emerged to compete in the crown con- Oh, this is actually like for equal rights. Okay, I'm down for this. Many have theories as to why this might be, but Lord Almadria quashed the doubts of any naysayers who sheer might. In fact, not only did she usurp her father and previous family family master, she also removed her older brother to claim the sheep for herself. She is a woman who shops at nothing to get what she wants, who gives her enemies nary the slightest opening to strike. Truly, Lord Almadria is a woman talent. No one in all ran a better exemplifies virtue of our nation's meritocracy. Soon the age of a glorious woman sovereign ruling over Lenigus shall be upon us at last. 
Okay, I mean, that's fair. I mean, you know, it, it's I still in line with her. Came from a uh, of the world yeah, that still kind of falls in line with her. her belief, yeah. But championed it as morally She's right. the only one where it's like, okay, maybe people just didn't really... Yeah, may, I, yeah I feel like that yeah. situation is like people didn't really know what she was like. They, It feels like, you know, typical politics where it's just like, you know, I'm kind of just following in line with, like, this person because, like, I'm looking at them from the... Uh, romanticized point of view, I guess, but she she was a stone-cold bitch. That, it still seems like that hers was in line. Balsef is really the surprise out of all of them. Maybe Ganabel too. Let's hear about Volron. Hell, hell, loathsome. I was just reading about Volron. Can I help you? Yeah, all people that serve Volron sound evil. Okay. I was always an ardent supporter of Lord Urwalgal Hildris. Who? Were not for a sudden death down on the surface, I likely still would be. Oh, that's right. There was another Lord before Volron, wasn't there? That was, yeah, that, was, that came up very briefly, didn't it? There was someone, and then Volron killed them and became the new Sovereign. I didn't know that's how that could work. In my eyes, Lord Urwalgal is the true water. Lord, I don't believe for a second that he perished in some accident, like they say. As for how Voron runs, Ganneth Harrows, don't get me started. I hear he enslaves not only Danins, but even his fellow Renans. I guess I don't really support Voron, but we still sound evil. We may live in a society. Where did the victor go this was? We live in a society. His actions go against what we as a people stand for. Besides, there's what sort of family lies this house Ignisari is anyways. I'd never heard of it till he came along, which means they must be among the lowest dregs of society. That such an ignoble lineage could suddenly produce an astral artist capable of ascending to lordship is unheard of. None of it makes any sense, not to mention all the upheaval around here of late. What is happening to our people? Okay, so Voron's like a fucking it enigma. Seems like the people on Lenigus don't yeah. really know much about Voron either. Yeah, he's a weird one. Oh, I, I can't move. Being quite is this for plot reasons? Of changed so abruptly. Yeah, that is. Do you have any weird. doubts that something suspicious yeah. was going on? I mean, on the contrary, you know, the normal type is suspicious. Remember, we Renans are raised to accept uh, everything at face value. Why can't I move? Oh, uh, there we go. That's why. I guess I when beat the quest. When you think about it, the families of Renan lords must see mm. them differently than the rest of us. I, that's typically how yeah, families work, yeah. the brutality they're known for. I mean, yeah. They must have had a lot on their shoulders. Bosef is just such a weird one. Carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. You just, like, me, like seeing Renan him, he did not seem like the type that was like, I'm doing this to help out, like, my family. So they tend and to grow up fiercely competitive. Like a clan? House, house, that's it. their people it. is also strong. It's what mm -hmm. brings them together against outside forces. Yeah. And nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That's yeah. what makes them the guardians of all of Renna, so to speak. And we killed right. them. It's nice. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts, and Ganabelt uh -huh. went after you, because we're threats to Renna. Huh. Guess that makes you an even bigger odd Yeah, what than the fuck, Dohalim? What's your, what's your so, issue? Alfin, have you gained anything from all of this? No, not yeah. at all. I think it's made me realize that the lords were all people. You know, too. I was with you all this time. Also you could have drew, drawn that conclusion from me. Circumstances mm. to deal no. with as they went through life. Yeah, but still. Mm. How the fuck did Balsif get his face so lives, fucked up? Mean, I know. What they did was horrible. Yeah. I'm not trying to dispute that. But, but they the were doing time, it for family. They weren't incomprehensible monsters yeah. either. They were the real lesson of this game. Just like the rest of us. Anybody so can be a monster. I'm trying to say is, <laughs> you're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, yeah. or because they were terrible monsters. Because of the Even situation. Even if they did terrible things, I don't know. they were still just people. Yeah. Who no. must be punished in the full extent Am of the law, or by the full extent of the law? No. Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't make you a good person. Yeah. And being a Renan doesn't Finally. make you a bad one. Finally. Even though we've kind of I already been talking else. about that since like she midpoint of the game, now we finally realized it. it. And I'm going All to we had to do was talk to, to five sure random people of varying political beliefs. Because that's all it really boils down to. Alright, cool. Hey, I got money for that. Well, that's kind of sick. And that took, uh, <laughs> took ten minutes. Oh god, a whole fifth of the episode time. Oh god, I got stopped There's by another cutscene. Another side quest is in the order. <laughs> itself has uh -huh. always gone ahead as planned, right? Yeah. In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was that won the previous contest. Exactly, and who was it? Yeah. Someone has to have sense. a name. So, 
who was and why don't any of the Danans know either? Oh, never mind. The former Lord of Sislodia, oh, okay. If memory Hanfried Milgras, yeah. So then this Hanfried, whatchamacallim, uh -huh. he's the current ruler of Rena? I guess. The last I heard, yes. Uh -huh. Though admittedly, I am really I curious about this Hanfried Milgras. Hanfried Milky Tits. He's never actually shown uh -huh. himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but huh. not in the flesh. We all Same called him Hans Freaky Milk Breasts. Now that <laughs> That's the kind of man he was. I don't was. recall anyone ever visiting Lenigus from the motherland, mm -hmm. sovereign or otherwise. Exactly. There is no Rena. We're gonna fly to Rena. We're gonna bump right into it and find out it's just a big painting <laughs> that somebody put in, 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 in the sky to make it look like there's a planet, but it's actually just a, 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 a brick wall. <laughs> and to what end? Yeah. A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown I'm telling you, supercomputer trying to work for the best of uh, the, the Renin people. Own. In other words, if that's true, mm -hmm. there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. Mm -hmm. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegian, it didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But yeah. if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand oh, deception, victor speeches? then where That's are they? Sick. Oh, quite frankly, and what about the I'm old sure lords? What like, anymore. what happens after a lord serves for both. ten years and a new lord is picked? By blood. No one has Neither an answer for that. Knew that such a thing as a dark master core existed. Remember, uh, with any luck. The Forbidden Zone might yeah, it'd be really answers. cool if we could actually no get to the Forbidden Zone. Chatting, exactly. Let's get what, on I'm gonna get stopped by another fucking skit or dialogue, too, is the worst part about all of this. Holy shit. God damn it! Two steps. Doe? Oh, yeah, because Dole. Faria. Who? Oh, that girl Faria. that hates you, right? Isn't that the person that I've accused Shut up. Was... Shut up. But why are you here? Wait. Oh my god. Don't tell me you've given up on the crown Bitch. contest and come crawling back home from Dana already. Bitch, I gotta hit you with my rod. Nothing mm. to say? Even though oh you were willing god. to kill Tarnigan to secure like your lady. position as lord, you still kill? Ah, uh, yeah, that's I'm how I'm here it to take care of something. If you wish to continue this conversation, I only ask that you wait until you I'm finished. Fucking be oh, way course. meaner to her. <laughs> did prefer to take the Jesus, yeah, she's such a bitch. Even after seven years and living on that Dan and Rock. At least he's uh, he looks like he's taking it in stride, but right? Let me tell you, I haven't changed either. Not a day's gone by the past seven years that I haven't hated you. And in all these seven years, if I've realized I don't peace, give a shit. So be it. <laughs> uh, no, we what still need you, you in this party. First, I have business to take care of. If it's vengeance you seek. I will grant you it. Yeah. But you must God, wait. Dolim, so cool. My sins are legion. Let me finish what I came to do. Then you have my word. I will let you do whatever brings you peace. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, push her out of the way. Fuck her. Get out of here. Everyone's brothers sure. die. That's it. Run away oh like always. Oh my god. You Bitch, he just gave die. you the fucking no straight up answer of like I'll deal with you when I fucking have time. You're and he's going to do it. I'm going to show up to your house with a gift basket. I'm going to cook you a fucking dinner and everything. And you're going to feel like such a bitch. Yeah, get over it. You had seven years to get over. Oh, shit. Ew. Freaky ass fucking thing. Ew. What is... Why is it so creepy? Jesus. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> hey, Dolim. How you, uh, how you doing? Dolim. Yeah. Guys, I honestly, we shouldn't. You had to we shouldn't that. really care. Like, who gives a shit? It's just some fucking random Is angry true? Karen. What she said. I guess I should be more empathetic someone? as her like brother died Each and was tragic and past. whatever. But I am no exception. God, I don't care about this rando. Before, back in Menencia, you mentioned having taken a friend's life over the throne. Yeah. Is that what she meant? Well, I mean, like, they kind of had the to do it, made, didn't they? My first, and may not be Did he my accidentally last. kill him? Or, no like, because, like, isn't that the whole Did thing? Like, it looked said? like he had to fight. About letting her take your life if she wanted to? Uh, that's okay. She's probably going to be dead or something. She has more right to my life than anyone. Uh. But you can't just... Whatever yeah, happens, well, he... I have sworn to put an end to the crown contest and to ensure continued Yeah, so maybe prioritize that before letting his no rando... intention of expiring Yeah, there we go. I do so. There are far too many questions Thank I still seek answers God. to. God. 
Don't let your Besides, fucking you survivors go. Is it, would it be survivors go? I don't know. Don't Forgive me. Some things are best left unsaid. Damn, Dohalim. You're like the best party member. We can't let you die. Well, now we can finally make it. Actually, I'm tempted to go back and see if that creepy-ass red lady's there, but uh, no, no time for that. Let's go and fucking beat this game. Hello, items. God damn it. Every fucking treasure chest I can collect has nothing but things I already have too much of. I'm surprised I'm still picking up orange gels at this phase in the game. Usually, you know, in any RPG, that stuff has scaled up. I know this game's, like, really changed up its original system, and that's probably part of why, but still. I'm surprised that orange gels are still, like, the main thing. That probably just comes from, like, trying to simplify it, make it more, like, straightforward. Um... I mean, it's not like an orange gel doesn't do me in, like, no good. It's so nice. Oh, fuck yeah, Tofu. Bro, from this angle, it looks like he's giving her head. <laughs> Whoa, it's pretty funny, guys. We should we should let them be. They're having a private moment. Any cutscenes waiting for me around a corner that I should be aware of? Am I gonna... Yep, yep, I knew it. Right there. That was cutscene square. Every time someone walks into this square, a cutscene happens. That would be wow, terrible if a place like that existed. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, it's kind of plain. Sort of rest and leisure area for the locals. A, a park, perhaps? I think? Man, these it is really plain. It up, <laughs> it's got a few trees and a fountain. Oh, hey. It, is something the matter, Dohalim? This is where I last sucked Before Tarnigan's I dick. Dana, my friends uh. and I, we... Oh, that's cool. We used to gather at this very spot and play music together. Oh, I can hear it in Avakir, your memory. Faria. And Tarnigan. Uh, Faria was one of your friends? That was a lifetime ago now. Ooh, who the hell was- Oh wait, Avakir is the first Tarnigan. Tarnigan, that's right. He was the one that Faria mentioned, yeah. right? Yeah, I fucking killed him. He was once my dearest, closest friend. Oh, oh I thought they were like brother Faria's and sister or something. Or maybe <laughs> they still are, I don't know. Despite Ooh. Faria's lower class upbringing, she possesses a tremendous talent for music. That didn't stop people from Entranced fucking by her plane. Tr beating her up. I helped Where's Rinwell going? She's like, yeah, I got bored of this story. And introduced her to Tarnigan ah. and Avakir. Oh, cool. It was a time of I'm great like, joy. I like that he didn't care about the Four cast system even only as a young love lad. Music, with no care for social standing. That's cool. Only the next song. God, the next only, melody. You're so fucking great. Wow. A friendship based on mm. mutual respect, and a society where everyone is a prisoner to their yeah, social Dolim, class. what made you such a cool you fucking really dude? You really are different, Dolim. And maybe his family was cool. As strange. I don't know. I'd be curious to see what his family was once. was like. Now, I think the idea of breaking away from society's constraints and choosing your friends based solely on yeah. affection is something beautiful that's worth cherishing. Yeah. Besides, it was that way of looking at the world that laid the foundations for coexistence in Menencia. Oh, your praise does me too great an honor. I was merely following the wishes of my own heart. Well, and it worked and out. Even then, You're the coolest character this game the has to contest offer. began. After that, Tarnigan and I became fierce competitors Why exactly? for the position and of Lord. Yeah, like, did you have to kill him as well? Tarnigan had fallen for Faria. Uh -huh. By becoming Lord, he aimed to wrest her from her humble origins. That's it? And That's all he to wanted to do? Of society. I guess just by becoming Lord, not sovereign. Okay. not so benevolent. Yeah, what happened? Uh... What happened? Oh, yeah. Let her ask a question. Tarnigan was no match for me in combat. On a level playing field, he oh. wouldn't have stood a chance. <laughs> I shouldn't let <laughs> He was desperate and low on options, and he couldn't stand the thought of defeat. You know, he could have just not You mean he resorted about... to dirty tactics to try to know. win, right? But then why does Faria think... You didn't think... have to Wait, become a lord to don't tell be me with she doesn't Faria, know. right? I guess they're really stuck in their ways How of could the I caste her, system. Combined with the trauma of losing her beloved. Yeah, and by her friend yeah there is no less. easy way you'd be able to tell she anybody something devastated. like that. So instead you let her go on hating you. So she could use that hate as a crutch for her grief? Yeesh. <laughs> She still That's hasn't gotten over it in seven away, years. It is exactly the same. Unable to face the loss of my friend and the burden of my duty. Instead, I decried my fate and looked away from what I'd done. 
As for what happened after, that you already know. But if you hadn't become Lord, Menencia wouldn't be what it is now. Yeah. The Danans there would still be suffering under Ren and oppression is like, like before. The fucking coolest person, <sighs> I swear. Shion's right. What other lord would have treated me as you did? Anyone else and I would have been dead long ago. You've saved so many people, Dohalim. You saved me. He. It's thanks yeah, to I'm you that I'm here today. I'm surprised he says like shit where it's like, yeah, I've got like so, a legion of fucking people that are yourself. mad at me. It's like, the burden I don't, placed on your I feel like it's only like a few people really. And a lot of, Faria is like, okay, I'm like, Frank is all I'm right. seeing her as being like, I don't know. I Hers is like it's legit. Advice. She she has her reasons where it's like yeah, it's a heavy load to get off their chest. Other people that would be like mad at Dolhalim are like Renans that are like set in their fucking stupid ways. Like uh, the vizier, it's like he was upset because he was working for a lord that didn't give a shit about the crown Do you contest. Think be all right? Like every I I feel like there's a lot yeah, more people Dolhalim so. just helped out He's than uh, than than have problems have with like him. That. So. I don't know. I feel like Dolhalim's thinking a lot more people hate him it is just than to he, be there for someone. Than they actually do. But he's also a video game character Sometimes that doesn't exist, so it truly doesn't enough. matter. And he knows, Shion. I promise he does. Yeah. I hope you're right. Yeah. Welp. Good talk, everybody. <laughs> Who the hell is this? There? Oh, it's, um... That one guy, Avakir. Why is Avakir staring Alfin. at us? Where is he? Avakir, yeah. I know you were watching I us. I never appreciated so until recently uh, just how uh, much you were always there to support me. Yeah, like, he has not let up, has he? <laughs> I, I keep giving him shit for it, but you know what? More times than yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I still wanted to say yeah, you know, we don't need to listen to them finishing those little talks. Let's just keep fucking going. Oh, Hanfreak Mirkras? Oh my god. I see oh, a medic shit. and supply officer over there. And I see a bunch of angry me, looking like people that assistance. look like they want to fight us, so uh Lenig is soldiers. Yeah, they look anyway, fucking tight with their Lennox. helmets. That all depends on them. Uh whatever happens, be ready. Oh jeez. Uh, well, never mind. It looks like they do want to fight, no matter what. Yeah, what the fuck? We didn't even have a chance. So, yeah, why? I wonder. Oh, uh, they're hypnotized. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I it's same shit. Volron. What the fuck's happening on this planet? Oh my god, there's still another fucking dude here. I thought that was the last guy we just killed. Jesus Christ. He's stuck being juggled in the air by Dolan. He's got a lot of aggression to take out. That lady really uh, may ever lost it. All right, hey guys, if you calm Those down. Those soldiers seem different from the citizens we've come across so far. Yeah, like they were hypnotized. Yeah, they weren't big talkers, that's for sure. They just attacked without mm -hmm, warning. Mm -hmm. They weren't in the least bit phased by Dohalim's presence either. They're probably Indeed. robots to they begin to with. recognize us I don't as know. enemies. They probably have had something implanted in and them, yet, too. I don't know. It's very Lucas Warhammer all of a sudden. A few oh. frenzied zoogles during experiments here and there. That's still oh, more Jesus. that times than should be. What reminded the fuck? me of the soldiers and slaves we met back in You Gana saw their Harris. eyes? What the, the fuck? The ones in blind devotion to Volron. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that here on Lenigus before. I'm telling you, the emergency protocols been set off in their brains, man. They're sleeper agents, man. The government's got their eye out on us, man. quite the growing list of adversaries. Honestly. At least we'll know to keep our wits about us. Yeah. All right, cool. How much time? I have, man, so much time spent doing other fucking shit. I don't have, s oh man, I'm, I'm running low. Oh man, I'll have to see what I can do. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's another praying mantis, but this one's all fucking big and spooky looking. And no one has anything to say about it? Kind of thought someone would be like, yo, what the fuck, look at that. That's a big fucking praying mantis. So I didn't realize what I was getting into here as a dungeon crawl. That's kind of unfortunate. You know what, actually, since this is going to just turn into a dungeon crawl, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this episode right here and I'll deal with this the next time I play. So yeah, this has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one where I bemoan the fact that I'll be going through a big ass fucking dungeon. So yeah, later everybody.